Hey again, it's Lori with TipJunkie.com and here I'm going to show you how to update your profile. And there are some really great perks about becoming a member of Tip Junkie. Of course, it's free. Um, but when I started Tip Junkie about 10 years ago, I um, first started blogging on my personal blog and it only took me about a month or so to realize that I don't want to talk about myself and what I'm making. I want to talk about all these amazingly talented and creative women online. And, um, you know, I have my mom who is just incredible. She can, she's so talented. I mean, seriously, she can make a cake. She can um, paint a mural. She actually made my wedding dress and everything for my wedding. Um, she has so many talents, but one of the things that she can't do is um, ask for money for her products or services. And so growing up, I saw that as, um, you know, as a really difficult thing. And I get it. I totally get it. So I started Tip Junkie so that I can do the online marketing for all of you amazing creative women so that you can really focus on doing what you love and what you're great at. And so by uploading um, your tutorials and participating in Tip Junkie, it's just a really great way not to only become a member of a very creative community who just loves to see what you make and want, want to learn how as well, but it's also a great way to help me promote you online through your tutorials. So you're also welcome to put in any links whatsoever that you want on there. They can be affiliate links. They can be links to courses or your products um, because that's what we do here at Tip Junkie. We promote creative women and help you make money. So um, what we're going to talk about today really quick is just how to update your profile. So you've probably already registered. If not, um, there will be a little button up here. It'll say log in. Um, or you can register by clicking the um, new start here. But I'm assuming that at this point you've decided to become a member and so you've already logged in and you're wondering what on earth I do next, like really. So the, the first thing to do is update your profile. So you're going to click on right here, my tips. And this is going to take you to your online craft room. Now, mine um, has a few things in there already because I've had to test the site over and over again to make sure that everything works. Um, so let's go ahead and update your profile. And um, <laughs> this right here shows because I was beta testing a bunch of things. So don't mind these ads. I know that they're annoying. Um, however, Tip Junkie has um, 142,000 registered users and um, everything's for free and I, and I have to pay for it somehow. Like, <laughs> um, And so that's the easiest way to do it. And I know it's a little bit annoying, but it really does go um, to a good cause because that way we can um, promote these creative women that we love. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and click on... Um, this little icon, this gear icon, and click Edit Profile. And what you're going to do is this is actually going to take you um, to a secure portion of the site that only you can see. And um, what you can do is you can go ahead and put a little description in here. Um, and it, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. What makes you unique? What you love to make? If you own a business, you know, state it here. If you want to learn how to um, start a business or make money online, put it here. That way we kind of know who you are. Um, and it also makes sure that, you know, you're not a robot or someone trying to trick us or anything like that. Um, Tip Junkie definitely tries to make everything secure, but sometimes, um, you know, there are men that want to, you know, exploit our kindness. And so this is just a really great way to make sure that the people that we're in here interacting with want to be interacted with and um, are actually here for great purposes. So, um, uh, I, so you can put anything in here. Don't overthink it. Like we're all just crafty girls. I'm a mom to three boys living in Houston, Texas. I don't know if you can hear my puppies downstairs. Uh, and the great thing about this is that, um, you can update it at any time. It's not one of those things where you only have you know, one, one shot. So, um, it will give you, I think it's a max of like 210 characters or something. So if this goes into the negative, you'll just need to delete a couple things. Um, and then what we'll also do is add a profile picture. So you can click this. Um, I'm going to pause the video because that's going to show up all of my folders and stuff and you don't need to see all, all of that because it's going to look a little bit different. But if you, um, click on it and you click upload photo, 
You can either drag and drop it here if you have it on your desktop, or you can click upload and your computer should take you to your pictures library. And um, yeah, to my anti-aging. Oh, ladies, I'm having two teenagers is just uh, is doing me in. All right. So I have all these silly pictures of myself. Let's do this one. So um, then you can crop it. I would suggest cropping it as close to your face as possible. And I know that um, most of us don't like to get our picture taken and you're like, really? So you can use, um, of course, an avatar or, you know, any picture that you want. Just make sure, you know, it's yours. Um, I will say though that having a picture does make it easier for us to connect with you. Um, but when I told my mom that, she was just like, really, I don't want my picture on there. And I, I, I totally get it. So um, going down here, um, you know, I would like your birthday um, on here. You don't have to put it on here if you don't want to. But what it does do is um, I've been working with my programmer and we are trying to do some really fun things where we just you know, send you something nice on your birthday, um, just like a free printable, that which would be really great. Um, here you want to put in your, um, any websites that you have. Uh, you can type in your um, Etsy shop here if you want, your Facebook account um, if you want. You don't have to, Instagram, all of anything that you want to put in here so that we can um, get a hold of you because if there's something that people you know want to buy from you or love from you they're going to want to socialize with you in other places and so that's what that's for it's just for the convenience um, so that we can get in touch with you so this right here is your online craft room and um, this first one is going to list any projects that you upload to the site um, that are public and this is how to create or upload a project and I'll show you how to do that in a different video and I'll add the link um, below this video so that you can get to it. This star right here shows all of your favorites that you've added throughout the, throughout the site. This little icon is a, um, again it's your, it's how to edit your profile and what is on there is strictly just for you. Um, most of it, you know, we, we do show your name and any links like Facebook or your Etsy shop or anything that you add on there. But there are also hidden uh, and secure uh, fields that are that only you can see. So don't worry about that. And then comments is just kind of, you know, interaction through that you've had throughout the site so that other people can see um, what you've been doing and um, what you love and what you're interacting with. So that is just a brief general outline of what you can do at this point on the site. And we are just so lucky to have you and we can't wait to see what you've been making.